Hiya folks, Steve here for Modgician.com, making Minecraft modding as easy as possible. And today we'll be running through the installation process for Mineforge. Now we want to start from the Magician homepage, click on Mod Selector, and go to Core, as this is a core mod. Now this will take us to the front page of the Core section. We'll scroll down till we find Minecraft Forge, and then click on that link there. And this takes us to the front page of the Minecraft Forge area, where you've got the uh, creator's credits and all that sort of stuff. We'll scroll down and have a quick look at Dependent Honor and Conflicts With. We can see with this one, it does actually need Mod Loader and Mod Loader MP. So you have to install those first. You can click on those links to take you straight to the pages on Modgician.com to tell you how to install those ones. But assuming you've already done that, we'll scroll back up and click on the Download and Installation tab. Now, the first thing we see here are the three big warnings up at the top, two of which we have to worry about right now. The first one is to make sure you are not running Minecraft when installing this mod. And the second is that this tutorial assumes you followed all the instructions in the Toolkit section of the Modgician website. If you haven't done that yet, you want to go and do that now. But assuming you have, we shall press on. So, of course, step one is to download the mod itself. Now, you have to make sure, as it says in the second warning, that you're downloading the right version of the mod for the version of Minecraft you're using. I currently have Minecraft 1.2.4, so I'll click on that one. And most of them will take you to an AdFly page, but not this one. Now, I've got mine set to ask me where I want to save my file. If you don't, it'll go straight to Downloads, but we actually want to go to your desktop and then to your Mod Downloads folder. Then we click on the right version for the version of Minecraft we're using. I've got 1.2.4, so we'll double-click on that, and then hit Save, and that will suck it down right in there. Excellent. There we go. Now, we'll minimize this for the moment, and on our desktop, we'll go to the Mod Downloads folder, open that up, then click on 1.2.4 again, and there's the file we just downloaded. So what we want to do is right-click on it, select 7-zip, and then open archive. There we are, we'll just drag that one over to the right, and then we can close down that window because we're finished with that, and we want to go to the dot .minecraft shortcut that you also placed on your desktop in the toolkit section. So once we've opened that up, we want to look for bin, which should be right up the top, and then scroll down until we find minecraft.jar. Then we want to do exactly what we did with the file we just downloaded. So right click, 7-zip, open archive. There we are, we'll leave that one up on the left there. So on the right, we've got the file we just downloaded, and on the left, we've got the opened minecraft.jar. So we want to select everything in this right-hand window. You can either click and drag, or hit Control a which is your keyboard shortcut to select everything, and then drag everything in there over to the left-hand window. And when it asks you if you're sure you want to copy the files, just click Yes. There they go, over there. So we can shut down this right-hand window of the file we just downloaded. And as it says on the website, the penultimate step is to look for a yellow folder called meta-inf. Now, this one can be located in the minecraft.jar. It might not be there, like it isn't here. And if it's not, you don't have to worry about it. But if it is, you want to delete it immediately. So now that we've seen that that's gone, we can close down this window and head over to the last step, which is, of course, to load Minecraft itself. So there we go, there's Minecraft, so we'll just log in here, and basically as soon as it gets to the Mojang splash screen, there we are, we know everything's probably working okay, but it's still worth loading a single player world and going in to check that it's all cool. And there we go, it looks like everything is running fine. So that's it. Assuming you've followed all the steps in this tutorial properly, you now have Minecraft Forge working for your copy of Minecraft. We hope you found this video useful. Feel free to come back to Magician.com anytime you want more mods for your version of Minecraft. And until then, good luck and good gaming.